Hi, my name is Jolene Dames, and this is my studio. Welcome to my studio. As I mentioned, I am a gypsy by heart, filmmaker by day, painting for the sake of sanity, and storyteller by happenstance. As a filmmaker, I have been painting sets for movies, television, and theater for over 20 years. A gypsy by heart, I've traveled the world, I love it. I've been to all 50 states at least once and dozens of countries. It's on those travels that I take photography with the intent that I'm going to paint the images that I'm photographing. Painting for the sake of sanity is a true story. I do that, literally. I am self-taught, although I use the techniques and tools that I have learned from working in movies to hone my skill. I also use theatrical paints. They're more saturated and I like doing layers and it's what I know best. So those are my tools. I am unique in the way that I paint large scale, like the one you see behind me right now. And I'm also unique in the sense that I paint everything standing up. I paint it standing up, everything is on the floor and I paint with a three foot extension brush. So I'll give you a second to get your head around that. It's the way that I know how to paint and it helps me get a better perspective on everything. I really consider myself like a giant copy machine because I take pictures, little pictures that I take and I make them really big. Um, the bigger, the better. So you're probably wondering how does she decide what to paint when she's this giant copy machine and pretty much can paint anything? Well, I base it off of three things. The first thing and the most important thing is I'd like to take things that we pass by every day and barely notice and make them really big. Small things like this. I'd like to make them big so you have to notice them. The other thing that I take into consideration is when I am doing my photography, I like to photograph and frame objects in a slightly different perspective so that it changes the way that you look at something. So perhaps it's an object that you see every day, like this car I painted, but the perspective that I give you of this car, it makes you look at things a little differently and take notice. See the theme here? The other thing that I take into consideration, and this is the scenic artist in me, is I love layers and I love textures. When I look at an object, I see all of the layers that make up what that object is. And in that, it tells a visual story. One that I feel it's my responsibility as a painter to put on canvas so that you can notice it. I feel like how I paint is really indicative to how life is. We as people, we are made up of all of our layers of life experiences and things that texture us and create the visual story of who we are as a physical representation. So I feel like I'm doing the same thing in my paintings. I'm just revealing all of those different layers of an object and giving it its voice, giving it its physical representation through paint. I paint in different series. I have an iconic series. I have a car series and I currently have been creating this bathroom series. This is a painting that I started back in December when I was working on Jason Momoa's movie, Sweet Girl. I would paint when I came home from work and I just finished it um, maybe a couple weeks before the coronavirus situation happened. So it was pretty timely and I went with it. This painting behind me is from a photograph that I took in Oregon about three years ago. I was in a little mom and pop pizza shop and I went in to use the bathroom and they had this old borax hand sanitizer and I was like, oh my God, this thing's amazing. I love the story that it told. And so I said, I'm gonna paint that one day. One day happened just recently. So this spawned a whole series of bathroom paintings. So I dug deep into my archives of pictures from all over the world and I picked out the ones that I remembered that really, really struck me. 
Here is another one of my bathroom paintings. In this series, I really wanted to focus on the depth of layers that were going on in each of these bathrooms. This one was from a photograph that I took in Mexico most recently. It was in an old hacienda and it just, the lighting was perfect. I saw all the patina and I kind of fell in love. So I took the photo and here's the painting. This is another piece from my bathroom series. This is from a photograph that I took in the Yucatan most recently. I really like this piece because I specifically struggled with this piece quite a bit and I had to work backwards on it. It was one of those moments and I find these when I'm creating where I'm doing something and I'm like, this is going horribly wrong. I should just stop. Again, I feel like this is life. This is going horribly wrong. I should just stop. I should start all over. It's never going to look right. And then I find that I'm focusing on this really small part of the bigger picture. And as soon as I step back and see the whole thing, it makes more sense. Again, kind of like life, kind of like why I paint what I paint. So I just want to say thanks for looking at all my paintings. I really appreciate it. And whether I'm going to do it, it's going to be funny. Here it comes. And whether you are hot for what I'm doing or you're just kind of cold, you got to appreciate the layers that goes into everything. You got to stop and look around and see all of the things that make up not just the objects around you, but who we are. It's pretty amazing. And that's why I paint what I paint. I hope you're hot for it. Thanks for watching. So that's my studio. I would invite you to find me on Facebook and Instagram and all of those other things under Jolene Dames. I have a website. It's being reworked right now and the new one should be up by the end of April. So you can look for it then. It will have all my new pieces and hopefully a couple new series. I'm fervently working as I am sequestered here. So I'm going to keep painting for the sake of my sanity. And I hope to see you somewhere socially, virtually, socially, because you gotta keep your distance. We all gotta keep our distance. It's important. And wash your hands. Thanks.